All right, so here we got the components. Um, my keyway, crankshaft keyway and woodruff key kind of got a little messed up. There was an issue I'm not going to talk about right now. But needless to say, I had to fix this and order all new parts and retime it. Luckily, valves are fine and all that. Um, but Toyota now says that a lot of this is reusable, but if you're in there already, why not just replace it all? You'll notice if you compare this gear with a new one, um, you might have, like you can see some rounded edges on here compared, it's kind of hard to see, but compared with a brand new one, these gear points are a lot more rounded off. Um, and TIS has a lot of inspection procedures and all that kind of stuff. Um, this one's not as bad, but still... It's just starting to round off, and obviously it replace these anyways. Um, the slippers and the dampers, again, there's a measurement they use. Uh, I don't know where it is, but somewhere, if it's more less than one millimeter of material, you want to replace them. Um, these do slide back and forth a little bit. That's fine. Obviously, if there's wear in the tensioner area, where that hits right there. Or if some of these tabs are broken off. I think one of mine were. And I was just like, I'm just going to replace them all. Same thing on here. These, my originals are brown almost. I don't know if they changed material or something, but the new ones are all black. In here. These look generally okay. And then these two, you'll see, these are the top small chain tensioners. Again, oil is in here that uh, kind of maintains that tension. This one's a little bit more firm than the other one. Might just be because there's no oil in there. So here you'll see some chain wear on the top. Um, this side is a little bit chewed up also. Uh, oh, we're getting to the good one. Here's the passenger side tensioner. Again, oh, here we go. It's like a rat.